Hey, y'all. Okay. So, I remember when I was young, uh, I was probably like a preteen or something. I just vaguely remember this. And I remember going to my dad, and I was like, Dad, um, if someone doesn't accept Jesus Christ as their Savior or whatnot, and so that means they don't believe in Jesus, that not make everybody else Jews, you know? And, of course, I'm thinking he probably said, well, it's about lineage, lineage, is that how to pronounce it? Or heritage or whatnot. I don't remember what he said, but I just vaguely remember that. Now, a few months back, um, I happened to come across these verses. I'm going to try to keep my composure on this. I kind of want to mention a story, but I don't have much time about when I was um, talking to somebody about something. But I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring that up later. But, okay. And I don't know why I do hand gestures, you know. I ain't a part of these people. Okay. So, First Thessalonians 2... 14 through 16. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God, which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets and have persecuted us. And they please not God, and are contrary to all men, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved to fill up their sins always. For the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. So, um, please read First Thessalonians and Second Thessalonians. You now I have some other stuff written. Like I, like I said, I don't have much time. Um, but if you keep reading in there, it talks about like being asleep in Christ and stuff. So I just thought it was really interesting. So I wanted to read that and it's in the Bible, but all right. God bless. Love y'all.